today's grammar lesson is learning how to write an address. Like if you're going to address an envelope and send it in the mail. And this is going to come in really handy because this week we're going to be writing um, letters. Thank you letters. And if you would like to mail yours, you can. If you, I provided an envelope to you. So if you want to use a stamp on the envelope, that I did not provide. That you'd have to get on your own. <laughs> that gets a little expensive. So, all right addresses you have to know how to write an address on an envelope properly because if you don't write it properly and you try to mail something it's not going to make it to the person you're trying to mail it to so an address is the location of a home or business people use addresses to locate a home or business or to send mail so there's an important question at the bottom do you know your address if you don't that's something that you're going to want to memorize because if you are lost and you're and they ask you well where do you live like a police officer asks you where do you live and you can't tell them, they're not gonna be able to help you get home. Well, what's your parents' phone number? I don't know. These are things you need to know. Your home address and somebody's phone number, if not a couple people's phone number, so that you can always be safe. All right, next one. An address has three lines. So the first line is gonna be the name of the person or the company that you're sending it to. So in this case, they're sending it to Disneyland Park, so that's the name of the company. Then you put the number and the street. So the street, like if you look at your house, you go outside and you look at your house, there's going to be a house number on your house. So you're going to put the number that goes to that, that building and then the street that they live on. If you go down your street, you'll see a sign somewhere that says the name of your street. So this is the number of the building that we're sending it to, 1313, and the street's name is Disneyland Drive. And then the last part, you have to put the city, comma, so city, comma, the state, which you can use the abbreviation, so CA stands for California, and then the zip code, which is going to be some numbers. So it has to be in that format. So when writing an address, it's important that you capitalize proper nouns. Remember we talked about proper nouns versus regular nouns. So if I'm just talking about um, pop, that would be regular, just a regular P-O-P -P lowercase. But because I'm talking about Pepsi, which is the specific name of the brand, then it has to be an uppercase P. All right, so names, the name of the place is uppercase, Disneyland Park. Numbers are always the same. We don't worry about that. Then the name of the specific street, Disneyland and Drive are both uppercase. The name, the specific name of the city, Anaheim, A is uppercase, capitalized. And the state is a specific state. So those are both capitalized because in an abbreviated state, you capitalize both letters. So for Indiana, it would be I-N, both uppercase. And then there's numbers again. Where does the comma go in this one? So if we're sending it to Peter Piper Pizza, address number on the building is 9047 Baseline Road. And then the city is Mesa, the state is Arizona, and the zip code is 85209. Where does the comma go? Go back. It shows us right here in the picture, There's it's a little um, arrow. And I don't think I read that, I didn't finish this put a comma between the city and state. So you're separating the city and the state with a comma. So where would it go here? Right there between Mesa and Arizona. M-E-S-A comma A-Z. Okay, so if we're gonna write our school address, first I'm gonna get, make it so that I can type in here. So let me insert, can I insert a text box? Um, see if it'll let me. All right, so our school address. What do we start with? What was the first thing that we're going to do when we do an address? The name. So we want to start with the name of our school, which would be, I can't find the right one. Here we go. All right, back to business. And my text box disappeared. This is going very well. So the name we want to write is the name of our school, which is what? Haley Elementary. And spell it right. Elementary. Okay, so that's the first line. And the next line is going to be what? We did the name. So now we're going to do the number that would be on the building and the street name. So the number that would be on the building, I know, you wouldn't know this off the top of your head probably, but I know it, it is 2201, and then it's Maple Crest Road, okay? 
There's a problem with what I just did though. My computer's even yelling at me. See that little red squiggle? It's because it's the specific name of the road. I'm not just saying any old road it has to be a specific road, Maplecrest Road. So Maplecrest needs to start with what? Capital M. Sorry about that. And then road is also going to be a capital because that's the name of the road. It's Maplecrest Road. Like that's what would be on the street sign. All right, so I have the name of the school, the number of the building, and the, and the street that it's on. So what's next? The last part, city, state, and zip code. So I'm going to say, what city do we live in? Fort Wayne, uppercase, because it's a specific name of our city. Then space, Indiana, which can be I-N. And then our zip code at Haley is 46815. But there's still a problem. What did I leave out? Remember, we have to have a comma in between the city and the state. So I'm going to go back and put that there. So it'd be Fort Wayne, comma, Indiana. And a lot of times after road, if I abbreviate it, I would do a period like that. Otherwise, I could type out the actual word road. So that's how you would send a letter to Haley. Haley Elementary, 2201 Maple Crest Road, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46815. Only thing is, if you do this, we don't know who to open it. So you might want to say it's at Haley Elementary, but a lot of times people will put like CO, which means care of, care of Kimberly Yonke at Haley Elementary. So there's sometimes there's an extra piece in there. Okay, so sometimes an address is in a sentence and then you need a comma between the street, city, and state. So this one says he lives at 173 Market Street, comma, Houston, comma, Texas, 77001. I'm not too worried about that right now. Sometimes that is an extra comma, but really what I want you guys to focus on is uh, putting a comma in um, where just, because I want you guys to write on an envelope. So putting a comma in where it would be if it was on one like this, okay? So today you're going to do a little practice on addresses. You have a paper. You have a paper that is the very first paper in your writing packet, the one that says writing with the heart, and it's called writing addresses, addresses. So you're going to practice. It gives you the reminders right at the top. Use a capital letter uh, to write the name of the street, town, or city. Use a period after an abbreviation and a street name, and use a comma to separate the city and state. And then you've got several addresses here that are wrong. You're going to write them correctly on the lines beside it. Okay, this is just practice, so I do not need you to send this to me. But get, go ahead and get practicing and show your parents when you're done or your grown up or whoever's there with you so they can see if you are correctly writing addresses. See ya.